morning. No, uh, basically we'll be the same players. We recover uh, Ryan from the suspension, but uh, as you said, we will have um, Antoine out. That is obviously another important player. And uh, the ones that uh, were injured, uh, you know, situations, uh, they are uh, long-term injuries in, in Alex and Julian's cases, and Sini continues his, his rehab. Uh, we have one or two players with the small things, but I hope they, they are available for, for tomorrow, yes. So far, he's been sensational. Uh, no Semenyo, no problem? No, obviously, he's a player you don't want to lose, and he was uh, doing very good, uh, very good things. And uh, also, we will use this week, and we are using this week for him to deload him a little bit. And also, with the, with the kind of break he had with the uh, international break, I think it will we will focus it in the positive way and he can have like a small break and then be ready again for a very demanding uh, month of, of December. So he suspended, I mean last week Christie was suspended for reaching five yellows. You've got three other players on four yellows and you have 34 yellow cards as a team for the season. Only a few more clubs have got more than that. So is there a, a yellow card problem? No, I think there are some clubs with more yellow cards than us, but it's true that the way we play, sometimes uh, you you risk, you know, when you go to press aggressive, you risk to arrive a little bit late, then sometimes you have to accept the, the yellows, no? Uh, when uh, these are the cases, I have no issues, sometimes you have to take a yellow because you have to uh, uh, make the foul, because it was a, it's a, a very dangerous uh, situation for the opposition, I probably... We can blame ourselves if we it's because uh, a descent or because you touch a ball when you shouldn't and this kind of yellows that probably we should we should avoid because after we see that they have consequences. Um, you've lost the last two games narrowly, maybe unluckily. Have you just hit a bump in the road? Yeah, I think we've kind of lost a little bit, like the advantage or the yes, the the plus we got after beating difficult teams and now after these two losses I also think they were difficult games eh, because you uh, Brighton they are they are in a, in a very good uh, place right now and they are a hell of a team and but we were not as 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 as, as efficient as we were the, the games and uh, if you are not uh, or if we are not close to our 100% uh, we don't win games and uh, we have to to, to continue doing the good stuff we are doing, but improve in the in the in the moments where the points are, are shared. And Wolves uh, next, and they're rejuvenated. They've won their last two. How tricky is this one going to be? I think it's going to be a, a, a difficult game because they probably are in no, for sure they are in the best moment of the season. Uh, they come with uh, the last four with no losses. For sure they have had after a difficult start. Also schedule wise, they played all the top teams. Uh, like a, a energy boost, no? After uh, after winning this this last uh, two games, and we have to be uh, ready for for a very good team. We are facing now this week, I think, three opponents: Wolves, Spurs, Ipswich. That the three of them are now probably in in a very good moment, in in very good run. So we will have to be also at, at their level uh, because uh, the, the, we have uh, difficult games ahead. Yes. It's you against Gary O'Neill, the man actually, of course, you replaced here. Since you replaced him, uh, Mandoni, you've now been in charge for 50 Premier League games and your record is 117, drawn 12 and lost 21. How good do you think that record is? I think it has been uh, probably good, but uh, you know, it's, uh, this is season by season. It's not like you don't carry the points from past season to this one. Or, no, no, no. This We start again, now we have 15. We continue needing much, uh, much more. So we have to continue adding points to this. And this we judge our seasons, season by season. And how many points you got this season? This, okay, good, bad. In the middle, this season, we'll see. So we have to judge it like this, I think. But it, I mean, it is excellent, really, isn't it? And it, the justification that Bournemouth have shown in you after replacing Gary has been absolutely justified, hasn't it? 
I, I wouldn't uh, say it like this. I've said it, I think, past season a, a lot of times. No? When Gary was here, he made a, a hell of a job. Uh, first season after uh, after promoting, uh, we, are, we are seeing it uh, every season, how difficult it is no? to, to, to survive and... and and obviously the, the everyone the players the, co the staff everyone uh, did it and uh, i think it's how I, I see it just one final one are you happy with kepper's form um the last couple of games there have been one or two things which have happened where maybe he's been at fault is there any sense that travers might come back i think he played well the other day i think the the two goals we we conceded is basically lovely, lovely place right? from Brighton players. I think the other day, especially Joao Pedro Mitoma made the difference. I think we had, and we have been looking more at the other side of the of the pitch, where we had many more, but many, many, many more chances in the opposition box, and we didn't materialize. And 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 they found, especially these these players who made the difference, and uh, that was the for me the main reason we we didn't win. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Andoni. Um, has have you been surprised by Wolves' turnaround, or when they were going through their difficult patch, were they deserving more than they got? No, I haven't been surprised because at the end they've played the first run of fixtures they've had. It was very, very difficult. No, I, they've played against all the top teams. It happened a little bit similar to us past season, and now when they've had, is never is in the Premier League, but at least more winnable or at least more uh, games against uh, teams around their their level, uh, they've been very good. And they we are going to face them probably in their best moment after a huge result. To win 4-1 Fulham away is a huge result because Fulham are playing also very well. So for, for sure they are full of confidence and, and, and willing to to recover the, the, the points, no, that uh, for sure they, they think they've lost at the beginning. Standout player for them, getting a lot of attention at the moment, Mateus Cunha. What, what does he do that's <coughs> impressing you at the moment? He's a difference maker. Uh, every team no, in the Premier League has, we saw it against Brighton, no? the end, Mitoma, Joao Pedro, players that they don't need a lot to, to score, to make big plays, to give an assist, to and Cunha is their player. I know him very well because I also played against him in, in La Liga from Atletico Madrid. I know very well also Larsen, I played against him, and they are two top players, top, top players. I think uh, Wolves have a technically very, very, very good squad, very good players. You know, the, everyone has level on the ball, so it's not an easy op uh, opponent to press because uh, uh, everyone is quite comfortable on the ball. They have good quality, uh, not only the forwards, the midfielders. They play with Brazil a lot of games, with the international games, the defenders, the fullbacks. Everyone is comfortable on the ball, and I, I think it's, it's going to be demanding for us because uh, it's not going to be, to, be, to be easy to, to take the ball from them, yes. One on Gary, he had one transfer window in his time here and the club paid for three players, Dango, Ilya and Antoine. When you saw him last season, did you say thank you, buy him a <laughs> bottle of wine for those three players? No, it was uh, obviously a, a good uh, window no, in that moment. And uh, yes, yes, it's, it's, it's always uh, difficult no, to, to recur it. Uh, players, in, in two cases from abroad, Antoine is, is English, but... Uh, yes, good recruitment in, 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 in that moment and it's good, good from, the, from the club especially, yes. With Antoine, you, you mentioned to Jeremy in general about the yellow cards, but the position he plays, I know there are risks with the pressing game, but should he be picking up five yellows in 12 games? I, I think it's uh, something that can happen. I don't want him to to stop uh, going to the duels or stop going to the aerial duels, to the press or not to receive a yellow. I think in his case he has had, uh, I think, two yellows because of uh, descent or after a foul, like probably not having the best behavior and probably we have to look more there than the fouls that sometimes you have to make. 
Justin on the four yellows. Does that come into your mind at all when it comes to team selection and also the instructions you're giving them, the way you want them to play? It comes, it comes into my mind. Uh, yes, it comes when when we are playing, and you don't want to lose them all together, especially now that we are uh, quite short of players. Uh, you don't want the other day we we lose Antoine. First half we know uh, Marcos is in four, and uh, uh, probably there is a part where I say, "Oof, we can lose also Marcos, and we cannot lose careful with Justin." And uh, but we will have to adapt. At the end, it's like injuries. You never know when they are coming, and uh, that's why we have uh, uh, more players in the squad. And I think it's the moment now for these players to to take their chances, to perform, and, and, and to show that we are more than just 13, 14, 15 that are the ones who, with more minutes. And just on the after the Arsenal Villa City run. You said you were worried that there could be a natural sort of drop in mentality or, or whatever. When you look back at the last two games, as difficult as the opposition are, did that come true at all? Can you have any complaints about that side of things? It's difficult to say and to prove because I think both games we've had ma many more chances than the opposition and probably uh, you can argue, you know, we've been there, we deserve much more. But it's true that we conceded an early goal the other day, early goal, second half. We conceded after scoring the the one two in Brentford in a key moment of the game. So probably uh, it's not. We are not a team that uh, we are winning games where we are not playing very well. And this is the next step we need to make. You know, when you start winning games, when you are playing average or sometimes even poor, is that. It's, it's good for the teams, you know. We need to play well and to finish well and to do a lot of things well to win. Uh, so we have to continue. We have until we grow as a team and we have, we are more more efficient and 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 we don't need a lot of chances and uh, we don't need a lot of control and and be around the box a lot of times. Uh, we have to continue doing a lot of things well. Uh, Brighton here. They didn't uh, have one corner against us. Uh, we didn't have one corner, you know, but they arrived two, three times and then boom, boom. They, they know when, when, when to, to hurt you, to punish you. And uh, we have to value every chance we have. I think uh, uh, there is no guarantee that sometimes we are a lot of time around the box and, okay, we'll take another one and it will come another. Sometimes, it's, no, no, you have to score this this one. Uh, maybe you don't have a second one or you don't have a third one. And this is the difference that uh, top teams or teams that are the, in the first part of the, of the standings are, are making, yes.